India index it's one of the biggest company class submarine to the Indian Navy and India getting ready for its Navy variant of the twin engine Tejas fighter jet. The country's third diesel electric Scorpion class submarine, which will be commissioned as INS Kandraj next month, which was delivered to an Indian Navy on Monday. Another project, 75, six French origin Scorpion class submarine is under construction. The Navy has commissioned two vessels, INS Calvary and INS Kandari, till now. The fourth submarine, called Vela, which was launched in May of 2019, has now commenced its sea trials. Though the Scarpeni project has faced a huge time and cost overruns, it is critical for the Navy since it currently has just 12 other aging diesel electric submarines, with just half of them operational at any given time. India also has the two nuclear-powered submarines, INS Arihant and INS Chakra, but later does not have the nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles because it has been acquired on a lease from Russia. India needs at least 18 conventional submarines, six nuclear-powered attack submarines, and four nuclear-powered submarines with nuclear-tipped missiles. While India getting ready for its indigenously developed Navy variant of the Tejas fighter jet, which is a carrier-based multilateral combat jet, is a combat twin-engine variant of Tejas fighter jet. Reportedly, the Indian Navy's Tejas jet will have a higher thrust and payload capacity, which would put them on a par with the French-made Dassault Rafales. The fighter jet will operate from the Indian Navy short takeoff, but assisted recovery carriers INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikran. India's defense research provided the latest figure regarding the capabilities of the Indian Navy variant Tejas at the just concluded Air India 2021 show. The fighter jet will attain a speed of Mach 1.6, which compared to the AMCAs or the fifth generation fighter jet of India with a Mach speed of 1.8. According to ADA, the Indian Navy's Tejas jet will be comparatively smaller aircraft than the AMCA, with the Indian Navy fighter jet having a length of 16.2 meters compared to the AMCA's length of 18 meters. Well, the Navy Tejas jet, which is optimized for a carrier operation, would compare a conventional delta wing configuration with canard and a horizontal tail. The AMCA has a twin tail layout with its emphasizers on the stealth. According to reports, the Navy Tejas jet has been outfitted with the folding wings for the deck handling and storage and will have a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons. Other than that, the aircraft will be powered by two GE Aviation F414 and INS6 engines. Importantly, the aircraft will not possess an internal weapon systems or the bay and instead will have a wing tipped rails, six underwing hard points, two fuselage hard points, and one center line pylon. So, what do you think of India inducting its biggest Scorpion class submarine? And India is also mulling and fast approaching the Indian Navy variants with the twin engine Tejas fighter jet for its Indian Navy. India and the Indian Air Force is buying one of the biggest air tankers for its Air Force from France. Along with it, the Gulf countries are lining up to buy India's BrahMos missile. The Indian government is currently considering a French offer to buy Airbus 330 multi-role transport tanker aircraft to the Indian Air Force in a government-to-government -government deal, reported by the Hindustan Times. These mid-air refuelers will be key to extending the strike range of Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy jets. The Airbus 330 is capable of simultaneously refueling two aircrafts or two fighter jets due to a central refueling boom system. The multi-role aircraft can also be used to transport 260 passengers and can also serve as an air ambulance. According to the South Block sources, 
Well, the Indian Air Force wanted to get the Airbus 330 on a wet lease from the British company. The French proposal involved selling five to seven year old aircraft for an Indian Air Force with a certification of another 30 years of the platform life at a much reduced rate. The jet is equipped with a powerful engine which allows the jet to operate in a high altitude like Slay and the Ladakh. While India is also pushing its defense products for exports, the new news comes in just days away before the Indian Chief of Army Staff General M.M. M. Narvain visit to UAE and Saudi next week, during which he would be meeting many officials apart from his counterparts. From the Middle East nations, including the Qatar, UAE and Saudi Arabia, have manifested their interest in acquiring the Brahmos missile of India. The mid air refuelers are key to expanding the operation envelope of the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy carrier-based fighter jets by extending their range. According to the former Indian Air Force chief, a mid air refueler can be used to extend the flight of Su-30 or the Rafales flying from Port Blair's all the way to the Sunda Lambara Malacca Strait for the freedom of navigation missions. For instance, the Su-30 MKIs, which are considered the backbone of Indian Air Force, cannot carry external fuel tanks due to their already huge internal fuel capacity and requires a mid-air refueling to conduct their operation at longer ranges. Like in the recent test when Su-30 MKI took off from the Air Force base in Punjab carrying a Brahmos missile refueled mid-air and struck a target in Bay of Bengal. It was earlier reported that the Indian Air Force has been unsuccessfully trying to acquire a new generation flight refueling aircraft for the past 14 years. The matter came to the forefront when India's five brand new Rafale fighter jets underwent mid-air refueling over the Mediterranean Sea with the help of the French Air Force Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport aircraft. In the Indian Air Force currently has a 7 Russian IL 76M refueler to meet its mid air refueling needs, with Pakistan acquiring same four refuelers from Ukraine and China operating three same Russian refuelers along with the vintage 10 other modified versions of the Russian bombers. India was testing multiple of its Brahmos missiles. It has indeed worked well for the Indian Russian joint venture. Along with Chinese aggression and asserting own dominance in the region, Brahmos serves as a credible deterrence against the hostile vessels, being the only successful and operational supersonic anti-ship cruise missile in the world, which even has a land-based and aerial-based variants, which have been considering success and been already integrated with the Su-30 fighter jets of Indian Air Force. So what do you think of India and the Indian Air Force buying one of the biggest air tankers for its Air Force? Well, the Gulf countries are lining up to buy India's Brahmos missile.